Hey everybody, it's Zach from My Shire Farm and I am back again with another video to help you on your journey with Caternix quail and becoming more self-sufficient. In this video, we are gonna continue our discussions on quail for profit. We are doing a playlist of this on our YouTube channel, My Shire Farm. You can go to the channel and there's a tab called playlist. There's a playlist called, you guessed it, quail for profit. You can watch those and that is to help educate, encourage, and enthuse you to start or continue your quail business and make some side money, which is fantastic for everyone. We also have a ton of other playlists on there that you will want to check out, new to quail and what I need to know, the hatching process, Papa the Builder, and so many more. So make sure you check those out. I really think that that will help you on your quail journey. Today we're going to talk about one of the most lucrative ways to make money with Caternix quail. Before I do that, if you will be so kind to hit the like button and support the channel, I would greatly appreciate it. It helps the channel get out there. It helps helps the word get out there about Caternix quail and self-sufficient living. It helps, uh, makes me feel better, to be honest with you, and uh, I would greatly appreciate it. And if you find this video helpful or uh, anything like that, feel free to subscribe to the channel as every Tuesday we've got videos with Papa the Builder. Every Thursday we do all about the color videos. Every Saturday we're doing this quail for profit playlist. And every Sunday I go live right here on our YouTube channel, My Shire Farm, to do a live question and answer. So if you have questions about raising quail, housing quail, breeding quail, quail colors, quail business, whatever the case may be, if it's quail related, I will be happy to help you on your journey and answer those questions. We've got a great community behind us and uh, we have a lot of fun. We do giveaways. There's a ton of stuff on there. So make sure you check that out every Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time as well. And make sure you hit the bell icon for notifications so you get a notification when we go live or post a new video. I've bored you enough, so let's talk about the most lucrative way to make money in Caternix Quail. It is a local market. I have said this in almost every video and I will continue to say this. You have to, have to, have to have a strong local market to succeed year after year after year in Caternix Quail. So that is why I'm hammering all the local markets. Our last video, we talked about falconry, we talked about reptile, and we talked about um, farmer's markets. Today, we're gonna talk about the biggest market for local sales that we have. We sell over 60 to 70,000 of eggs just in this market, locally. We don't ship them, local. And that is Balut's. We make quite a bit of money on Balut's and I'm gonna give you all the information I possibly can about Balut's. Like I said, we have sold 60 to 70,000 eggs a year uh, for multiple years now selling Balut's. So we have made mistakes. At the end of this video, I'm gonna give you the three biggest mistakes that we've made so that you can learn from our mistakes and not make them as well. Also, there's been two questions that I've been getting continuously. 15, 20, 30 times. Uh, and I'm gonna answer those at the end of this video as well, because if there's that many people reaching out to know, I'm sure a lot of people are interested as well. So stay tuned and watch at the end of this video because I've got some really good information to help you as well. All right, let's talk about balut, shall we? What is a balut? A balut is a fertilized, partially developed egg embryo. I'll repeat it. It's a fertilized, partially developed egg embryo. What that plainly means is you take a quail egg, you put it in the incubator, you take it out of the incubator before it hatches, and then you sell it. And then that person hard boils it and they eat it. It is a delicacy in South China and most Asian territories, specifically in Cambodia and Vietnam. It's an, it's like, a delicacy. I don't know how else to explain it. They love them. They eat them all the time over there. And there's an Asian market in your community. I guarantee it. And so you can utilize that and sell all the eggs you possibly can to Balut customers. We're going to go into our process, uh, how to get involved, get your foot in the door with, with that, and so much more. I did this talk at QuailCon. I've already had two 
no, I'm sorry. I've already had three customers contact me and say they already started selling balloots and they have sold their whole week worth of eggs to one customer by just going in and letting them know that they offer them. This is a lucrative market. I'm telling you, we sell 60 to 70,000 balloot eggs a year. We don't advertise, we don't market, nothing. It is word of mouth. So this can really, really help you. With that being said, balloots are a huge word of mouth operation. You have to make sure that you give good quality, good customer service, you stand behind your product, and you have to make sure that you take the proper steps. And we're gonna go all through that in this video. So stay tuned. All right, so how long do you keep them in the incubator? It's a good question. I'm glad you asked. Let me answer. So we have 5% of our Balut customers, and obviously we have a ton of them because we sell that many eggs a year in Balut's. We have 5% that typically like 10 day Balut. We have 5% that like 14 day Balut. 90% of our Balut customers in Quail love 12 day Balut. That seems to be the sweet spot. So keep that in mind. I'm gonna give you some tips in just a few minutes as well. But 12 day seems to be the magic number for 90%. Now, the top three balutes that are out there are ducks, chickens, and quail. So if you have a homestead and you're trying to sell off your homestead, then if you've got ducks and chickens, you can do this as well. Obviously that 12 day is gonna be completely different because it's not a quail egg. We only specialize in quail, so that's all we sell. So you'll need to look that information up. But as far as quail goes, 12 day is the sweet spot. What I highly recommend you do is you get your foot in the door, which I'll give you some tips on how to do. You find a customer, you give them some for free and they give you feedback. If they say it's too big, then you need to go down to 10 day. If they say it's too small, you go down to 14 day and you constantly, constantly, constantly ask for feedback. So it's local sales and it's Asian markets. We've kind of covered all that ways that you can get in in the door there's craigslist hoobly facebook marketplace because they're eating eggs um and asian based businesses so out of the 60 to 70 thousand balloots we sell a year all but one customer we drop off to an asian owned nail salon so you'll want to check those out now i don't recommend that you going into the asian businesses and dropping off balloons. I don't think you should do that. But what we've done is we've taken eating eggs and packaged them nicely and taken them. And we've said, hey, we do quail meat, we do eating eggs, we also do balloons. If you're interested, here's our business card or here's our contact information. And now we're selling 60 to 70,000 a year and we typically turn a lot of people away or we're on like a month wait and they're willing to wait. Um, so. We could do more if we wanted to, is what I'm saying. Um, and again, word of mouth is the way it goes. That's, that's ideal for this situation. Um, but that is the way to get in the door, is find one person that's interested, and then word of mouth spreads like wildfire. wildfire. Now, I'm gonna tell you about our process real quick. So, you might wanna do it differently. Maybe you should, I'm not too sure. This is what works for us. You'll have to find out what works best for you. What happens is Jenna or myself will get a text, sometimes a phone call, but mainly a text, and they'll wanna order balloots. We'll get their information, we'll ask them how many, and we'll get the order on our list. Now, how we do it here is if they, if they buy a certain dollar amount, right, then we'll deliver for free within 50 miles. If they don't do that dollar amount, then they can feel free to pay the same price and pick up here at the farm, or they can pay us mileage or a handling fee, uh, and we'll do it that way. Um, but I can't remember the last time someone's picked up here. We've always delivered, and we're always trying to push uh, bulk orders, if you will. And that could be anywhere from 100 balutes to, I think our biggest balut ever was like 3,500. Maybe it was 2,500 balutes. Uh, it was it was fairly large and we had multiple going in at one time. Um, so we take the order, 
when we put them in, because again, we have to collect the eggs, put them in the incubator for 12 days on average. Um, so we'll notify them when we put them in and give them a date that they'll be delivered. Then typically the day before, we'll contact them and let them know that we'll be candling and delivering the next day. And then the day that they are 12 days, we'll take them out, we'll candle, we'll put them in cartons that we use, and then we deliver. That is our process. Now they pay when we deliver. Now you might wanna pay in advance, you might, whatever you wanna do, you can mix this up all you want, but that's our process and it works for us. You have to find your own process and what works for you. Um, and I think that's pretty much it for the process. Now let's talk about the biggest mistakes that we have. Oh, there is one more thing. We do not wash the eggs. Uh, we used to, and now it is their responsibility to wash the eggs. Like I said, once we deliver, they hard boil. We no longer wash the eggs. We only use clean eggs anyway, uh, but we do not wash, but I know that would be a question. So the three best, biggest mistakes, and I hope you stayed with me because this will save you a ton of orders that you don't have to redo. Um, number one, put extra eggs in. So if we're gonna do a round number, let's say someone orders 100 balloons, don't put in 100 balloons. What we do, what we find that works best is 20% more. So if someone orders 100 balloons, we put in 120. If someone puts in 1,000 balloons, we put in 1,200. If we have extra, we'll contact them before we go and say, we have X amount extra, would you like these? If they don't, then either we put them back in to the incubator and we'll hatch those out, or we'll give them to them for free and tell them that it's a customer service, whichever one we wanna do. But you always wanna put in more and we recommend 20% more. But we've made that mistake of being short quite a bit and that is not good customer service practice. So make sure you put in minimum of 20% more. Number two mistake that we don't want you to make is don't send all eggs, you must candle. So what that means is when we started, if someone would order 100 eggs, we would put in, eventually, we would put in 120 eggs. And then the day that we delivered, we would take those 120 eggs, package them up, and take it to them. So they weren't all fertile because we didn't candle. Well, that's not a good practice. They did not like that. And they let us know fairly quickly that we had to candle the eggs and only bring them fertilized, which is fine. We made that mistake. Don't make that same mistake. You wanna make sure you candle before you take them and only used verified, developed, fertile eggs that have not died in the shell, that they are fully developed on day 12 or whatever day that they choose that they want. Again, if someone that you're working with doesn't know what day they need to be, I recommend you doing day 12 and then adjusting from there. The third mistake that we used was you really, really need to use a trusted candler. So when we did start candling, we used to buy just cheap generic candlers and we were still having the issue of, you know, five, 10, 15 of them not being fertile. And again, if you have two or three that are not fertile, they will let you know immediately. Um, so that is not good. You wanna make sure that you use a trusted candler. The candler we strongly recommend is, it's called Incubrite. You can find it on eBay, you can find it on Amazon. If you would like to support us, you can even purchase it on our website, myshirefarm.com. Uh, and that's all we use now. And we have not had a complaint in Balutes in years. Um, so we've got a good process, a good candler, and uh, it works for us. But those are three big mistakes that we made at the beginning that we're lucky that we were able to survive from. So hopefully you can just skip those mistakes altogether. Um, now, this again, you'll have to decide what works best for you. We do not sell them jumbo eggs. We only sell them standard. The reason for that is we want a bulk of our sales to be hatching eggs so that we can spread all around the US. Uh, so all jumbos either go to hatching eggs that we ship out or local pickup, or we put them in and we sell them as breeders or chicks. Uh, so we don't use any jumbos for our balloons. Now, there are many different options. You can only use jumbos. 
you can do standards and jumbos and have two different price points, uh, or you use no jumbos, whatever you wanna do. I'm just letting you know what we do and the reason behind it. Now, I'm not gonna tell you how much we sell them for, but I can tell you that a customer of mine also sells balloots and they do quite well with it and they sell them for 80 cents an egg. I'm telling you now, there is no way on God's green earth that I can sell our quail egg balloots for 80 cents an egg here in my market. There's just not a chance. I know my market and that's okay. So I don't wanna tell you how much we sell them for. Um, what I strongly recommend you do is find one customer that you value, that you can communicate with, and that you get their feedback and you work out a price with them. What works best for you, what works best for them, how many you can sell the most of, and what's profitable for you. That's the best way to find out in your market. Um, because again, 80 cents is not doable in mine and I don't wanna tell you that, and my price might be way too low for you, so you gotta find your own. Um, I think that is all about the balloots except for consistency is another key. You wanna make sure that they're all fertile, they're all clean, you deliver on time or pick up on time, however you wanna do it. Um, and uh, you can even have price points. If they buy under 100, it's this price. If they buy over 100, it's this price, whatever the case may be. Um, but the last thing I'm gonna do is answer two questions that I've gotten numerous, numerous, numerous times that I would like to share with you in case you're wondering as well. And it has to do with this Quail for Profit playlist. Number one is why are we promoting other people to get into the business? Aren't we um, increasing our competition? My answer to that is simply no. We are in this for the long haul. And if you get hatching eggs from us or live quail from us, if you get a good hatch rate from us or beautiful live quail in the mail, it is not on accident. It is not by chance. We have spent hours, days, weeks, months. We have spent years trying to give you the very best quality that we possibly can. We are going to continue to do that. But Caternix quail is a minute market. It's a minute market because if you go to someone and say, oh, I have chickens, everybody knows what a chicken is. Everybody knows what a quail egg or a chicken egg is. But if you say, I raise quail, what's a quail? That's your number one question. We need hundreds or dare I say thousands of people that sell locally, that get people involved with self-sufficiency, that get the word out there with Caternix quail, because I truly believe that one day it should be it will be, it ought to be, quail is the new chicken. And I can't do that alone. So I want to help you. It's a great side business. And like I said, you could probably sell all the eggs you want just in balloots. We also have more videos coming your way. We're gonna talk about live bird sales. We're gonna talk about egg sales. We're gonna talk all kinds of stuff. So I want you to stay tuned and make sure you like the channel, like this video and subscribe because I got a lot of great stuff coming your way as well. But no, I do not think that I'm increasing my competition. I think that we're getting more people involved so that we can get the word out there because our job, our goal, our objective here at My Shire Farm is to educate, encourage, and enthuse others to become more self-sufficient. And we're putting our money where our mouth is. And we're trying to give this information back to you so that you can be successful. The second question is why am I not charging? This is something that we can make money off of. That is true, except for it does not go with my business plan. My business plan is, and most of you know it if you've watched the other videos in the playlist, is to educate, encourage, and enthuse others to become more self-sufficient. So if I was to charge for this, I really wouldn't be doing what I'm preaching, am I? So again, I don't think it's right that I have to charge you. We have been blessed beyond measure because of your support, supporting the channel, liking our videos, subscribing, uh, following us on Facebook, ordering from our website. You have given us a great opportunity here and we're giving back. Zig Ziglar said it best and he said, if you wanna hit your goal, if you want to reach your dreams, you have to help enough people 
reach their goal and reach their dreams. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to give back because we've hit our dream. We're living the life that we chose to live and we wanna give back because it's because of you we're able to do this. So I'd like to thank everyone for doing that. And those are my answers to two questions that I am getting numerous times. And I hope that uh, that suffices the questions. Uh, I hope this video helps. I'm telling you, you gotta get out there, get business cards or make, make your own. Just have your contact information. It doesn't have to be pretty. They don't really care about that. They want quality. Put them in egg cartons. We sell them on the website. And, uh, and I think you're gonna do great. If you have any questions, I will be live this Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for a live question and answer. But I've decided that this coming up Monday, which I do not have the date. Uh, Jenna, what's the date on this coming up Monday? I will be going live, I'll give you the date in just a second, but I'll be going live this Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, um, which is October 11th. It'll be October 11th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right here on our YouTube channel, My Shire Farm, for a live Q&A specifically for Quail for Profit because everybody is a little bit different. Every market is a little bit different. And I want to be able to try to help you with your specific questions and needs. So I hope to see you this Sunday for fun and a live Q&A. But this coming up Monday, October 11th, we'll be doing a special live Q&A for the Quail, Quail for Profit playlist. So I hope to see you on one of those. Again, make sure you like the channel and support our channel as uh, you should subscribe and hit the bell for notifications as we are trying to give back as much as we can. And this should help you on your journey with Caternix Quail and your small business that is all about Caternix Quail. Until next time, stay safe and we will see you Saturday or I'm sorry, we will see you Sunday at 7 p.m. See you guys.